We all know that communication does occur in every conversation, speech, meetings, and etc. Yet, we see other situations where someone is quarreling, crying, or feeling hurt because of misunderstanding. Could be with a friend, a parent, a stranger, and etc. According to Ramona Flores, the author of Oral Communication in Context, that miscommunication occurs due to the lack of awareness of the dimensions of communication, namely verbal or nonverbal dimension, oral or written dimension, formal or informal dimension, and intentional or unintentional dimension. Verbal and nonverbal is used to achieve a clear and smooth communication. Verbal embraces the words, the message, and the tone of your voice. In nonverbal, it pertains to the facial expression, gestures, and body language associated with the way you speak. Misunderstanding could really occur if words contradict actions. For example, when your level of sarcasm is on peak and keeps on telling yes, but in a way that you're saying no. The listener or the receiver will be kind of confused if what was your real answer. If it's a yes or no and might end with an unwanted result. Oral and written dimension is used together to have better understanding with the words that is conveyed by the speaker. Obviously, oral dimension means spoken communication like spoken poetry, speech and address, and etc. While written dimension talks about the written works like notes, drafts, a letter, and etc. Misunderstanding occur in oral and written dimension if your oral and written messages are not in line. For example, you tell your classmate that she is your best friend but later on you posted something on Facebook account saying that you don't like her because it just happened to be that you just can't say it to your friend directly because you don't have the guts to talk to her frantically and result into a tragic war between the two of you. Formal and informal isn't really used at the same time. It just happened that these two are the opposite way of each other and is obviously seen with its spelling. It just differs due to the prefix of the other one. Formal dimension is talking or conversing with someone professionally or traditionally, while informal dimension is usually talking or conversing with someone the casual way. Formal and informal dimension also includes the attire you're wearing during the conversation and with whom you are talking with. Intentional and unintentional convey the purpose of the speaker in sending such message. Misunderstanding is achieved when people's belief and tradition contrast your actions. For example, you are riding on a bus and is being busy and not feeling well. An old woman reaching to the only chair vacant in the bus is taken away by you because of your case. People look to you strangely and wondering how rude you to take over that seat from an old woman. Of course, we all know that we must respect elders and lend them chairs, let them be the one to take orders or even have a discount. Your intention of having a seat to somehow relieve your occurring pain caused by your present sickness is misunderstood by the people around you. What are you going to do? Be a martyr guy who just wants to collapse any time because of being not feeling well? Or take the seat and look at the window and don't mind what's going inside of their head of your fellow passenger, even they're thinking that you're so rude. In my 16 years of experience, or existence rather, I can say that misunderstanding or miscommunication really occur more often. One normal day in school, I was sitting just two rows from the front and observing what my math teacher will discuss. It happens that our lesson that day was the same lesson I took last school year, and I'm confidently answering and answering my teacher's question continuously, and I am doing it to have my recitation's grade good enough. However, my teacher misunderstood my intention. He thought that I am being so arrogant that kind of looks like that I already knew everything. So the next day, he gave me a task to report about our incoming lesson. I accepted his challenge. I read a lot. I prepared I prepare fair enough. 
I gather all my previous references and mark and marking all the important details about it. The reporting day began. I'm pretty confident that I'm I explained it well, but my teacher gave me a very difficult problem and asked me to solve it on the board. Of course, I am still a student, still lacking with the knowledge of our lesson, but he makes fun of me in front of the class after not yielding to the correct solution. After the class, I approached him and told him I'm really sorry because that very moment when he started disregarding my report, make fun of me, and showing to my fellow students that I am kind of stupid to not, to not know how to solve the problem on the board, where in fact, that problem is still under my report. Well, after that, after I apologized, we became good friends, better than friends. We're like family, and then told me the real issue between the two of us, and it came out that it's my carelessness and insensitive way of answering and answering all of his questions even though it's not essential.